demonstrate that uh, NGL can be used for Qt5. And to change this, we go to projects and we can shoot, choose the um, kit that we want to do. So we can change kit. I'm just going to click into there and uh, choose the Qt5.2 Clang. Um, and again, same sort of thing here. If I go build um, and we do a rebuild all, run QMake, just get rid of that, and again build, once it's done that, it's rebuilding all, and uh, you can see there's quite a few warnings and things coming up. One main thing that you'll notice in the project here is we've got this thing here that says is equal Qt major version 5 and we add this to find Qt 5 build and we also you'll notice now in the files that are included there is for the Qt 4 version this objective source is equals set gl32 visual mac this is basically a, a bit of wrapper code that I wrote to allow us to take into account the fact that um, the Qt 4.8 won't set a core profile um, visual. Now with Qt 5 that's all managed, it's all in there for the Mac, That so this bit of code is, is basically superfluous. Um, but to allow for backwards compatibility we can use um, conditional compilation to allow this. And again this can be seen in the includes types.h because types.h um, here has quite a lot of um, extra code in here that um, does that, which is this choose visual element here. So under Qt5 build, that's no longer needed. So the next thing, if we look here, we have um, I've just opened up a Qt5 GL project. Um, I'm just going to um, choose the correct build directory. Again, I've I've chosen the build kit to be the one that's um, the Qt5 build kit. Um, the code and the way NGL works looks very different um, using this. It's it's nothing like the standard NGL demos because Qt5 has a completely different um, way of generating the OpenGL context and everything else. Um, I'll be doing lots more on this um, next year and it's envisioned that all of the uh, demos that we use for this next year will actually use Qt5. Um, so, as I say, all my lecture notes for next year will be based on this and they'll all be updated. But for now, we're sticking with Qt4, so this is really just for interest, as it were, if, you, if you're interested in, in using it. So let's just put that there, configure our project. Um, so again, if I build run QMake, first thing you'll notice in the project file is that we've got um, a define which will define it for Qt5. Um, well, we need to add that define in there to make it run for Qt5. So at the moment this project hasn't got it because I've copied it from my old machine. So what I need to do is to go through and just copy that one define which I've got. Um, at the very top of this project here, this is equals. So I'm going to add this to my project there. Then it's just going to be a case of build, run QMake, and then doing a rebuild all. And again, build and rebuild all. And with a bit of luck, this should just build nicely and allow us to um, run the project. So this is using Qt5, as I say, it's a very different uh, structure um, than the previous one. We have an OpenGL window which inherits from these QGL functions. Um, we have a whole different set of initialization code that we do. And then I've got this NGL draw class, which is the class that manages it all. So it's very different from the structure of the old stuff. But as you can see, it's still working. So that's my first Qt5 demo. As I say, next year there will be lots more on this.